All right, got the JB4 all installed. Everything's put back together. Car started. I'm ready to go through the menus. Hey, what up? <laughs> really? I actually have the car running because it's a little cold outside. I did see a penguin walking down the street with a jacket on. That's how cold it is. Anyways, so on the left stock here, to go through the menus and everything on your JB4, on your F-Series chassis here, so you've got the BC button, which is what stands for onboard computer, I guess. I just Googled that. Push the button in and hold for two seconds and this to get to the first part of the menus, which is the flaps and the exhaust. I know if it's the left blinker, it means they're both open. If it's the right blinker, they're both closed. And if both flash, then it's the OEM function. We'll push in, so 1001, 1002. There, the left one blink, that means they're both open. We'll do it again. Push 1001, 1002, and that's the right blinker. That means they're both closed. And then push 1001, 1002. And then they both flash, that means it's back to the OEM operation. Now, whatever you leave it in when you turn the car off, that's what it's going to be in the next time you turn the car back on. Cool? I'm going to think I'm going to put them both back open again. So push 1001, 1002. There. Left blinker means they are both open. Cool? All right, moving on. It's time to go through the meat and potatoes, the menus here and what they are. Uh, I'll go through you know everything and show you guys. To get to the menus... And once again, my car is still running. Push and hold the BC button for about seven seconds. And the left turn signal will stay on and it's on the speedo side. I'm gonna call the speedo the menu and I'm gonna call the tack the sub menu. The speedo is on zero, which is on all the maps. So if you look at the tack, it's at a thousand RPMs, which is actually map one to go over to the tack push and hold the bc button for another second and the right turn signal will, will stay on pointing over to the tack side if we push the bc button just tap it here it'll go through you know a bunch of different settings so let's go back to zero six seven and zero zero is jb4 disabled Tap the BC button once, it'll go up to about a thousand RPMs. That is four PSI over stock. Tap it again, the second tick mark, because it won't always be exactly on 2000 or 3000, so on. The second tick is six PSI over stock if you're running 93 octane or a small E85 mix and bolt ons. Tap it again, three is a progressive water meth injection map. Four is a stock map, but the JB4 is active for logging only. Five is auto tuning with an absolute target of 11 to 17 PSI based on conditions or octane. Six is user definable, an absolute target map suggested for troubleshooting by professionals only. And seven is a race gas map with an absolute target of 18 and a half PSI if you're running straight unleaded race gas. I'm going to set mine back to one because I'm running map one on my car and to get back over from the tack back to the speedo, push and hold the BC button for a second or two and both hazard lights, both turn signals will flash twice. That means you're out of the JB4 menu and you're back on normal stock gauge operation. Okay. So let's go back over to the JB4 menu. So I'll push and hold the BC button for seven seconds. Here we go. Since I'm still on menu zero, which is the maps, it's showing the tack on one. So I'm on map one. Tap the BC button, it goes to 10 miles an hour or the first tick mark. This is for the active sound design, whether you want to turn it on or off. If you see my other videos, you know that I have an active sound design defeat harness already connected to my car, so I, this doesn't even apply to me. But if you didn't pay the hundred and some fifty bucks or whatever for that harness, which now I'm kicking myself in the 
for, I actually think about throwing it on eBay or selling it. You can actually turn it on and off with the JB4. Now, to do that, all you gotta do is tap the BC button or hold it for a second until it goes over to the TAC again, just like it did for the maps. And zero is off and a thousand is on. Tap the BC button again, we'll go to 20, which is, this is how you can actually hijack the gauges to do other things. Like zero is off, a thousand RPMs, it's gonna hijack the fuel gauge and turn it into a boost gauge. If it's at 2000 RPMs, the boost is on the fuel gauge, meth is on the speedo, 3000 RPMs, the boost is on the fuel gauge again, timing is on the speedo, and 4000 RPMs, or the fourth tick, boost is on fuel once again, and the air fuel ratio is on the speedo. I've never messed around with that. I probably will at some point, but just haven't yet. Tap the BC button again, it goes to uh, 30 here, which is LED max brightness. So if you have factory LEDs on your car, you can adjust the brightness of the halos to be brighter at night. <laughs> again, if you've seen one of my videos, I did one where I played around with some headlight bulbs and stuff. I don't have LEDs in this car, I have HIDs, so this doesn't even apply to me. Sounds cool though. All right, 40. You can turn this on or off to automatically delete fault codes if they pop up. Now me, I'm paranoid. I don't want the JB4 to automatically delete any fault codes, so I'm leaving that off. And five is to change the dash mode from standard to metric. Zero is standard. If it was at a thousand RPMs, it'd be on metric. Tap it one more time, 60 or the sixth tick is to limit boost in first gear, on or off, I have that off, and 70 is to limit boost in second gear, on or off, and I have it off, as you can see on the tech. I probably will play around with the limiting boost in first gear. Uh, after drag racing a couple, well, maybe a month or two ago, I was having a hard time with a little bit of excess wheel spin in first gear, so even though I have an automatic, I was left foot braking and revving up to about 2000 RPMs at the, at the launch and I was getting a little bit of wheel spin. I might mess with that a little come next spring, you know, after the, this part of the country thaws. Push the BC button again, bam, back to zero, which we know is the map and I'm on map one, so that's it. That really covers everything in the JB4. If you have questions, check out the N54 Tech website or email Burger Motorsports. There's a ton of info. This isn't very difficult. It's not all that tricky. It's just pushing the BC button and getting used to how it works. And I wanna exit out of it. So I'm gonna push the BC button until it goes over to the tack, push it again, and that's it. It's back to stock function of the gauges. And that's all there is to it. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up down below. If not, give me a thumbs up anyway. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I ask you to please do. I'm gonna cover some more M235i stuff, some car stuff in general, some things around the house like the insulation in the garage, which I still need to finish. That video is in progress. I still need to finish doing more of that. I uh, need more footage for the go-kart video. I wanna do the oil change video, probably on a day when it's a little bit warmer. I want to do a little bit of a brake upgrade with some stainless steel lines, different rotors, and you know a pad as well, but probably nothing too crazy. What's up, Handy? Another thing I'm trying to launch, get off the ground, is I want to do this whole race with Mikey. I'm kind of a video game racing nerd. I'm big into Gran Turismo. I do have my own little, you know, driving race rig set up with a steering wheel and pedals and all that. I built it myself. I'm probably gonna do all that stuff on my other channel that I already made called Race With Mikey. So when I ever get that off the ground, I'll probably throw a little YouTube video here to promote myself there because it's a separate channel and I didn't wanna cloud this channel with video game stuff. Although I probably could maybe and just get more subscribers. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, so that's about it. Like my fish? I may do a video or two about fish tank stuff because I'm huge into fish. This is 180 gallons, African cichlids, 
I made my own sump out of a 40 gallon breeder tank with some glass plate I had cut, my own design and all that. So I might even do a video or two on that stuff. Cool? Later.